this is one of three of my personal builds going to Cena this year. And we leave in 27 days. So Cap got the frame completely stripped down and then my F-250 is over there. So these two are gonna merge into one. Now hear me out, might be a little confusing, but we are gonna get this sandblasted, powder coated. The lift kit's not even here yet. I don't know, we're what, we have 25 days now until mm -hmm. we leave? But that's okay, because Elevate, that's an announcement also. It's getting an Elevate brand lift kit. 15, 18 inches? 18. 18? Woo! I didn't know what they're building, they're surprising me, but 18 inches, monster lift from Elevate Manufacturing and I'm super excited. That's what Zach has on his truck. Mine's not gonna be quite that big, but it's gonna look pretty dope. So we're basically gonna powder coat this, powder coat the whole suspension and get that completely built where we can take my truck body and basically set it on this one. And it's actually a damn good thing we decided to do it this way because Cap is taking my truck tomorrow to My truck over there, Cap is taking it all the way to Georgia tomorrow to Atlanta Custom Wraps to get a pretty special wrap job. Um, we'll give you guys a hint. Well, yeah, we'll give you a hint. <laughs> I feel like when I said the name, they're just gonna know yeah. what it's getting wrapped as anyways. But and if they don't, then it doesn't matter because they're not a dolphin. Yeah, if you don't, you're not a dolphin. You're not an Atlanta Customs Wrap fan. And we are. I, I'm stoked because this has been a long time coming. I haven't had any vehicles that either A, I felt like the wrap fit or B, that I was gonna keep long enough. So I think this with the monster lift kit, it's going to SEMA, the whole thing I think is like the perfect thing for the wrap. So I'm pretty excited. So basically we're gonna build on this while the truck is gone. And then when we get it back, I don't know when that's gonna be. We're just kind of flying by the seat of our pants. Don't know when the lift kit's coming in. Don't know when we're getting the truck back from wrap, but that's okay. We're just rolling with the punches. There's also no motor over here in my D150 right now. Uh, we don't have the motor yet either. Yeah. And uh, we got to finish that before SEMA too, because it's going in the barnyard with Hoonigan, which I'm super stoked about that too, but we've got quite a bit of work to do. But as of right now, as we stand, we don't have the parts that we need to really get cranking on either one. Good thing is, my Jeep's going to SEMA and it's pretty much done because we're not really doing anything to it. So this is our customer Blake's truck and he has already been to Atlanta Custom Wraps here recently and he got Dolph Wrap number 85. And this thing looks sick. Um, we took the wheels off because we're repowder coating them. And it's going to SEMA also. This is a fat fabs truck, so it's got all this sick suspension. It sits really low. This thing looks good. So if you guys can picture this on that, but then almost as tall as that one over there. <laughs> almost. All right, we've got the carpet all set up to start my F-250 build. We're still, still bare carpet, you know, but Cap and Zach are picking up my frame from Powder Coat right now as we speak. And yes, I say Powder Coat, I know we Powder Coat, um, but we don't Powder Coat frames. So they're picking it up um, in Dallas right now. And then when they bring it back, we're gonna sit it right here. And my lift kit also gets delivered today. So we're gonna get that sandblasted prepped, ready for me to Powder Coat. Um, and then we'll, someone's being wild brownie. Okay. So then we will start assembling just on the floor here. That's why we have the carpet. Um, so we'll have everything powder coated and nice. And it's just so nice not to have to worry about digging anything up. So we're gonna start putting it together. My actual truck, the body, the motor and everything that we're gonna be picking up and putting on to this new frame is still in Georgia at Atlanta Custom Wraps. But today is Tuesday, and I think that me and Cap are probably going to go pick it up from there Friday. So that gives us like six days once we get that to basically, you know, swap the cab and the motor and everything on onto the frame. So that's a lot. 
And so Atlanta Customs, they got everything done in a really good time manner, actually. Um, but I was waiting on my Fusion Bumpers because it's going to be in the Fusion Bumpers booth. So I can't really be in the booth without a bumper. And Johnny with Fusion Bumpers pretty much they just got them finished thankfully i love you guys um they just got them finished last friday shipped out so we're waiting on them to get there in georgia for them to wrap it to match the rest rest of the truck and hopefully that is done before we pick it up friday if it's not we're gonna have to just take the truck and then ship the bumpers back here hopefully i don't really know because i got a lot to figure out still um it's only tuesday we leave next thursday so right now i think what what does that give us nine days Nine days. And we got the frame going into my shop. We're tearing into them right now so we've actually got two elevate kits that came in one is for a customer's truck um he's not getting a full frame off so that's a good thing and then the other one is mine so tearing into these things now i'm gonna get them prepped and sandblasted and we have officially like mm, nine days to build a couple trucks no problem no problem y'all right, it's a new day we're officially eight days out that's the countdown mark that we're on okay and i'm jumping right into it brian got some stuff sandblasted last night we are getting this lift kit powder coated today and we're going to start installing it tonight so right now we gonna be putting some color on this beautiful metal work by elevate manufacturing and i'm super stoked about this lift kit i'm doing a dark green color on everything that's touching the frame because um, as you guys saw, the frame is the dark green that matches the green in the doll wrap. So everything that touches the frame is going to be green. That's what these couple racks are about to be now. We're going to do the four links. Basically, the, basically everything but the middle overlay is going to be black to have like a thin outline of black. And then we're going to do bronze overlays. That way it just gives it that little pop. So that's what's going down. We've got a long day ahead of us. We're going to get right into it. here with Zach we are putting the overlays on the frame I shouldn't say we because Zach's doing it all while I'm prepping everything else over there Zach you got the stuff measured out all right good enough so, uh, what's today? we have one week we have one week seven days seven days that's right today is Wednesday Come along pretty nicely. And for all y'all watching, thinking, oh my God, Zach, you can't build the fucking lace. No, she's fucking powder coat the rest of this shit. And then I'm gonna go powder coat while she builds it, so. Yeah, we're oh. flipping back and forth. 
flipping back and forth while one's over here, the other one's over the powder shop. So can I just say that I have never been happier that I chose a solid tone single stage color for my truck. Not even on purpose either. That's just the one that matched the green and the wrap. But I'm so thankful. It was an easy color to spray and not something super hard because there's a lot of detail in these things. Like all of this had the potential to be a powder coater's nightmare. Like getting all up in these doodads. I love these. They look so nice. They're so detailed. Look at those welds. Shoot. But getting up in here, no. No. Would have been. <sighs> it just, it would have been so hard if it were any other color. I mean, it still wasn't the easiest, but it was the easiest, if that makes sense. Now, poor Zach. Okay, we got to keep him in our thoughts and prayers because the customer's truck that's getting the same Elevate lift kit um, is getting it done this candy color board. Which I'm stressed already for him. He probably doesn't need the love and prayers because he's the candy color king. That right there, trying to get up in all these little... No, that stresses me out. Nope, better him than me because I would be... No, I would be sweating bullets and not because it's 100 degrees in here, but because I would be so freaking nervous. All right, me and Cap got the first batch loaded up and we're gonna go start installing the cradle and everything, aren't we? My spinal. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, uh, I quit. You're gonna no. take all three of us. This is myself and Zach are gonna hold the cradles while Lacey drops the U-bolts and tight and puts the nuts on and nope. we'll be ready to rock and roll. So that's what we're doing. Taking a little break from powder coating. We're gonna start the install. So while I was powder coating, Zach and Cap have been doing this fun stuff. Drilling holes. <laughs> and putting the beautiful frame overlays on. Check these bad boys out. This shit takes longer than powder coating. So these bottom overlays, they cover the holes. the holes. And just kind of smooth it out, make it look really nice. We got Rudis here also. Hello. Well, cameo to be a by Rudis. Yeah, it's been a minute. Normally he's sitting at home on the couch, but we're putting him to work this week. <laughs> oh, he's a baby. So if you guys can see, this is three layers. So we've got the back one that's covering up holes on the frame. We did that green to match the frame, and then this middle one, gloss black, and that's um, We're doing the same um, color scheme on the foiling bars and everything, but that way we have like this little thin line of gloss black that just kind of breaks everything up, and then this brown matches the brown in the wrap. So I think it's gonna look pretty clean. Cap's doing some, some math and... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Enough of that. I'm tired of the ladies in my DMs over you. I ain't. <laughs>
so we are putting on all of the overlays and gonna get some of these bars installed. It is right now 1.30 in the morning um, and me and Calf need to leave here by probably 4.30 in the morning, so we've got about mm, three hours. It's actually 2 uh, o'clock. It's 2 o'clock right now? Well, it's... 10 minutes till. Oh, well. <laughs> mm. So we've got less than three hours, really, before we need to leave to go to the airport to go pick up my truck from Atlanta Customs. So we are going to be flying to Atlanta, and pretty much we're going to fly there, land, and head straight there, and then we're going to turn and burn and head straight back. We are going to get some content there for you guys as much as we can. Um, and then we are just going to turn straight around and come straight back here and start taking the cab off to set the cab and the drivetrain on the, the frame here. So we're going to be pulling an all-nighter for sure. And I feel like I have this fucking all thing weekend. zoomed in. An all-nighter, an all-weekender, an all-weeker, and all-until seamer which we've got right now. Right now, I think we've got seven days? Uh, six days? Technically, today's Friday, so six days. <laughs> six days? <laughs> you know, we love the torture. 